Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Delaware. More specifically than that, we're at Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, here on the boardwalk. Walking down the boardwalk here, uh, at the end of the boardwalk, they do have one of my favorite all-time dark rides I wanted to check out. It's been a few years since I've got a chance to come back out here to Rehoboth Beach, so please, Follow me. Beach itself quite busy this evening. Quite a quite a few gulls as well. Oh, there's okay. This is turning into a Hitchcock situation very quickly. Oh, am I like a tornado of birds right now? Some crashing waves out here on the beach. Oh, look. Oh, all these children. Oh, geez. But watch out. I don't want to get my don't want to get my feet wet. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this many people on one beach at one time. Walking down the boardwalk here, we have Zelke's Arcade. Their mascot there's a little pink elephant grabbing at a token. There's a lot of claw machines here. Of course, I'm notoriously not good at winning prizes at claw machines. I'm starting to think the whole thing is one big hustle. Well, it does look like they have some good prizes here at the arcade. You can uh, spend your tickets to win these giant gothic fairies. This is a claw machine I've never seen before. You have a giant T-Rex skeleton, and I guess you use it to try to pick up these plastic dinosaurs. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a chance on this. All right, so what's the crank do here? Well, the crank opens and closes his mouth. So we hit dino, drop there. And he's gonna drop, oh, let me use the, try to bite down, bite a dino. Try to get him to, get him to, ah. I wasn't able to bite onto one of the dinos. Dang it. All right, now that I know how it works, I can do it a little more skillfully. So we want to drop him mouth first into a giant pile of dino. So right there. Okay. And then we use the mouth to grab on. Come on, get a mouthful. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Don't drop it. Yes. I won. I won. Oh, gonna let it, oh, I gotta, I gotta let it, let it go. There we go. Wait a minute. Do I get to keep it? My prize should be in here. There it is. A dino. I want a dino. Got a few pinball machines here in the back. All right. Now I'm feeling lucky. We've got this giant claw here, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's only one prize left, so they must, they must be easy to win, because someone has come along and won all the other prizes. So let's see if we can win this last prize, which is a Zelke's basketball. Move, move the claw here. I'm gonna line it up perfectly with that basketball there. Let's see, we put it back a little bit, maybe. All right, we're gonna adjust it. That looks pretty well lined up. I think we're gonna go for it. Oh, that looks promising. Oh my gosh, oh, well, like it had it perfectly and then it just fell out. I'm, I'm so sad, I really thought I was going home with that basketball. 
Well, it looks like if I really wanted a Zelkies basketball, I could spend $8 on buying one. Actually, I actually do have a lot of Zelkies merch here. The little elephant character, little face mask there. Got some plushies here wearing Zelkies hoodies. Oh, and Zelky for president. Wonder if he's a Democrat or a Republican. I think Jen would really like one of these uh, little Zelky critters wearing a hoodie. So I'm gonna give this one a shot. All right. So let's see. What do we What do we want here? Maybe that elephant right there. I don't know if he's too close. Maybe I'll try this alligator right here. I'm gonna make a drop for that gator. Oh, there it goes. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Some beach supplies being sold here on the boardwalk. One thing I notice a lot here on the boardwalks, they do uh, give away free hermit crabs with the purchase of the cage. So I guess you buy their home and then the crab itself comes with it. You can see the crabs there all hanging from the fence there. I actually had a hermit crab once when I was when I was a, a young child. I remember one time it, it pinched onto my finger and it, and it just wouldn't let go. It eventually did let go though. Oh, look at this. Another Zelkies. So we have a Zoltar here in front of Zelkies. How you doing there, Zoltar? You can actually use your Zelkies card to uh, pay for your fortune. Zoltar, the great gypsy, at your service. Listen carefully. It is better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Return to Zoltar and I will give you more words of wisdom. I guess this here is a test of physical strength. Whack and win. So we'll see how strong I really am. Swipe our Zelkies car there. And it's kind of a floppy hammer here. I guess we go ahead and whack it as hard as we can. Did it go over the top? Wait a minute. It went up and then down. Oh, none of these games are fair. All right, I think, I think that this elephant here may be able to be picked up by this claw. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna move that claw ever so gently over the elephant here. Over top, the elephant down there. We'll do some final adjustments, then we're gonna drop it. Oh, that could not be more perfect. But it slips through my fingers, like everything else in life. All right, we're gonna try to down the clown. These balls here. Ah, oh, so hard. Oh, come on, am I only eight seconds left? And I haven't downed a single clown? There we go, I got one. Got one. One more. One clown I got. There, oh, I got one at the buzzer. Oh, there's actually one more Zelkies. <laughs> one more Zelkies, three Zelkies here on the boardwalk. You know, I think when I retire from YouTube, I'm gonna get in the uh, claw machine business. Seems very profitable. So enough Zelkies for now, because here we are at Funland. They have claw machines here at Funland, but we're gonna ignore those for now. So no more claw machines. We're gonna try to win something here at the Frog Bog. We use these hammers to launch frogs onto the lily pads. All right, so we have our launcher, our mallet, and our frogs. 
take the frogs, place them ever so gently on the mechanism, then not so gently, I'm gonna take this mallet and hammer it. We're gonna launch the frog so it lands on one of those lily pads. Oh no. All right, we got one more frog here. See if we can wait, to line it up, and get it on that yellow lily pad. Dang it, big splash though. This children's boat ride. We have the rotating mermaid there in the center. See, like she's covered, covered in some seaweed, it seems. The Funland gift shop here has some t shirts themed after the rides. You can see the haunted mansion there. Very cool t-shirts. Got some playing cards. But the backs look like Funland tickets. And this is what we came for. The Haunted Mansion. It's a terrifying dark ride. You can see the carts are very unique. They have hanging carts that uh, lift you up from the top. See, they just opened the ride. People are scrambling to get to the front of the line and get Terrified. I better get in line. A spooky vulture there. And then some sort of ghost looking down upon us. I got my tickets ready. Get off the road. Oh, look at the ghoul up there. Just talking to the crowd. See, the guests are lifted off through. That door there. The sign there says keep arms and legs inside the car at all times. You can see your arm can be ripped off and then used as a cautionary tale for other riders. My chariot arrives. Spooky faces here on the door. We get ready to ram our way in. Oh, here we are inside the haunted mansion. Oh, we can see the spooky ghost dancing around in the closet there. Another skeleton there. The hallway. Oh, you can see, you see a spooky skeleton up there in the corner. Oh, where are we going? Okay, we're out on the balcony. You can see the Gravitron over there. We are, we are going in this door. Oh wait, it's a trick. We're just going in the side of the building. Oh, that sprayed me with something. Missed at me. Oh, these spooky portraits here. Oh, it's Frankenstein standing up. Where we're going. Where are we going? Oh, jeez. These heads on the wall here. Oh my gosh whole living room area there's so much going on so much to look at oh there's this crazy guy in the in the clock there's things going on all around me oh my gosh oh geez what was that oh my gosh where are we now we're in some sort of tomb okay there's a, a skeleton up there some sort of cavern or tomb like area See that bat dived at me? Just danger, keep out. What's gonna happen here? Oh, jeez, oh! Something popped out of the... What's happening, okay. That guy just detonated something right there. Oh, caused an explosion. The guy jumping up out of his gravestone. Gravestone says you. Referring to me. Oh, werewolf. What's this? Oh, the big skull. That's the big skull right here. Oh, a big spider. And this big spider's 
den here. Oh, he sprayed me too. Two times you get sprayed. Who's that? What is this? The floating, floating skull room. Here, those are all little dancing skulls. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? I don't even know where we're going. Oh, opens up. We've got a skeleton peeing off the porch into the outhouse. I hope he doesn't pee on us. Oh, a stream of pee. Oh, a stream of pee. Okay. Okay, he did not pee on us. We are so fortunate. Now be really quiet. We gotta listen to this guy. Accommodations for later. A crack living fire to warm yourself by on the cold. Excellent and personalized attention from the owner himself. I hope you well. Romance, adventure, and it's yours. Oh wait, what's gonna happen now? That oh, was the devil. Oh, the truck and. Find our way down to the exit. Oh wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right back in line now that I've got an idea of what's going on in there. Maybe we can try to pick up some things that I missed on the last ride through. Keep an eye out for spooks. There's the ghost popping out there. Trash can ghost there. As we go up this spooky hallway. Skeleton up there. Oh, look at that. There's the Gravitron. And it makes us think we're going in this door. But we are actually doing a quick turn and go into this door. Dead. A clock that breaks us. All right, I think Frankenstein is gonna jump out at some point. There he is. There he is. Oh, there he is. All right. So there's all sorts of stuff going on in this living room here. The whistle was blows. Oh, something popped out from the couch. Oh, there. Casket popper. Missed that last time. Then we go in, the bookshelf opens. And oh, just an explosion of some sort right there. We go, okay. Another creepy skeleton in the rafters as we head through the cave. Oh, it's quiet, almost too quiet. Oh, you see that bat? That was really fast. Does danger keep out? There's gonna be a big bursting jump scare out of this coffin. Oh, gosh. That barrel, that, that box comes at us. So here we are in the skeleton mine. The guy right there hits a plunger, causes an explosion. We go out to the cemetery where it says you, you. And then I think there's gonna be, there we go, werewolf behind that gravestone. Here we're going. Outside again, I think this is normally open. We have this big skull here. I think normally the skull would look over the beach. And then we go into the spider's den. Spider spits. Oh, oh, yeah, spits missed at me. That guy jumps out of there. Big spooky skeleton reveal. And then that thing the thumping drums. Because we're in the floating skull room. All these skulls floating. Something jumps out here, maybe? Maybe not. All right, where are we going? Okay. Okay, yeah. It's the peeing, the peeing skeleton. I think there's a jump scare in this corner, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Dude in the trash can. The outhouse here. Skeleton peeing at us. The pee stops. And listen really quiet. The devil does like a condo pitch. I'm talk to you about accommodations for later. Crack the fire to blow yourself by a whole excellent and personalized attention from the owner himself. I offer you well. Romance, adventure, game, it's yours. But he's just distracting us because... Ah! There we go. See the cart there coming out. 
It's that fake door. They think they're going in that door, but they're wrong. They're going in the, going in the side. See that Gravitron picking up some real speed there. You can only imagine what sort of pain the people inside are suffering. Right, again. A bouncy drop tower it doesn't really drop them as much as it just dribbles them. Now this thing is called the Super Flip 360. The name makes me feel like maybe they're gonna go all the way around. Oh, they're terrified. I would be too. I wouldn't get on that. Oh, are they gonna do the Super Flip? Here they come. Oh, I think they're gonna do it. I think they're gonna go all the way around. Oh yeah, there they go. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Oh, again and again. Children's car right here, rotating up above it, is Officer Clown there, a police officer clown of some sort, rotating over top the children. It's time to seek out a boardwalk dinner. I think we'll try this place here on the corner. Gus and Gus's place. A little counter you can sit at there. And then you can see the menu up above. That sign back there says this uh, restaurant's been open since 1956. Got a jukebox at our table unfortunately does not look like they are operational anymore got the clam platter there some nice fried clams served with some boardwalk french fries and an orange soda dinner roll there some tartar sauce go with our clams Very good, very tasty. Try some of these boardwalk french fries there. Very tasty. It's fresh, tastes very potato-y. They have this malt vinegar on the table, which I guess is how you're supposed to eat seafood in this part of the country, so I don't know, I just you should squirt a little bit, squirt a little bit on there. Got this clam with malt vinegar on it. Smells very vinegary. Mmm. Very good. Mm. Vinegar. It's a very different taste to it. That malt vinegar has kind of a, a funky taste, but still very good. And once again, I am a member of the Clean Basket Club. So thank you for joining me here today 
Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, home of Funland's haunted mansion. Amazing and unique and classic dark ride here in Rehoboth Beach. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Let you know when new videos come out. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the back.